It's Wednesday, October 16th. I'm Erin Guy with your news to go. We are learning the name now. The seventh victim killed in St. Lucie County where an EF3 tornado touched down. 79-year-old Robert McKenzie died days after falling off a ladder while putting up hurricane shutters. The other six victims were all between the ages of 66 and 85. While well, preliminary damage assessment found more than 400 homes were impacted in Indian River County, 51 of them are destroyed. 71 have major damage and more than two dozen other buildings are also ruined. The report estimates more than $55 million in damages. And Stewart City Commissioners, they voted against a new proposal to build a Brightline station in downtown. This despite Brightline lowering the cost for its bid by $15 million. Despite this rejection, Brightline says they will continue to speak with the Stewart City leaders while engaging with other cities on the Treasure Coast. They say the ball is still in the city of Stewart's court, Sandra. Alrighty, and weather-wise, we're going to see daytime highs today in the mid 80s, but a cold front's on the move, so it slides across this afternoon later, and the winds will really pick up out of the north, and we'll see up to 26 mile an hour gusts as we head into this evening. So much fresher air on the way. Tomorrow's high only in the upper 70s. Have a great day.